let's create a playground file to demonstrate operators in swift right so we are creating a playground file blank we'll name it as operators in swift the functionality of operators in swift it varies with the data types right so let's see how we can use the operators first type is arithmetic operators right first one is arithmetic operators inside arithmetic operators we are having plus minus into and division multiplication and division so we are having these four operators as well as we are having fifth one as modulus fine so we are having these five operators in so how how we can use these operators so for this what i will do i will create two variables having value 10 b is equal to 20 fine so here we are having a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 two variables now we will create another variable called c it will be having 0 right 0 and here we will c is equal to a plus b so you can use the plus operator like this it will give you answer 30 c Right. So see again C is equal to A subtraction operator B will give you the value over here. See minus 10, 10 minus 20 minus 10. C is equal to A minus uh, into B into b will give you 200 fine c is equal to now a divided by b what it will give you yes it will give you zero correct because integer time the same rule applies over here c is equal to a modulus b what will will be you we are getting over here 10 correct so this is about the operators you can use this operator so we have seen this operator for the integer variable integer variable if i change the type of those variable to the double c here we can write like this 0 0.0 that means it will convert this type to the double c here double now it's giving error what is the error cannot assign value of type double to type integer right so you cannot assign the value of any type that means you are having an integer value and you are assigning that integer value to the double value it's not possible you cannot assign double to integer as well you cannot assign string to integer or integers to string right you need you to no see here in in case of variables you cannot assign integer variable to the double variable see here a and b are double 
c is integer so if i write like this a is equal to c so it is also not possible c cannot assign value of int to type double right but it is possible if you put zero over here why why it is possible if you put zero it it's working right it's not giving the error and if you put c which is having a zero value it's giving the error so you can use integer literals to put values in a double type of variable you can use integer literals but you cannot use integer variables because integer variables are having their data type integer as integer so you cannot add integer to the double in any case you cannot add any data type which is not the same correct to yes it will work see here c is double now now it all the errors are gone just one error is left that is modulus operator modulus operator is not available to work with doubles correct it only work with integers so if i comment this then it will give it will work it will run fine got it now another type is c here you so cannot type of thing yes we can do the type casting as well right if you have a variable of type double and you, you want to assign the integer value integer variables value then you can type cast that integer variable to the double right so see how we can type cast and put over here and instead of b just i will change the a a is having type double b is having type integer also the same case with other operators as well see assignment operator will will not work if if there is a different types of data different types of variable just like assignment this operators also won't work with different data type a, so a is having different data type b is having different data type so it will not work over here see there is error double and int you cannot use plus operator fine now to tackle this we can type cast it to the double no to the integer right because c is having integer and b is having integer so we'll type cast it to the integer one right just like this type casting we need to type cast it over here as well all the values of a will type cast to the integer now we are getting over here we don't want this okay fine so we are getting it over here now plus operator can be used with strings as well so what i will do i will add one string over here that is that will have my string correct my string and inside this we can have another str new that is new str which will have 
data as my my new string so we are having two strings so we can create this my string my uh, this new string by appending it with the str are you getting this we can create it like this my new string plus str new new str it will have my new string as well as my string over here my new string my string it will append so plus operator works with strings as well but you should have both the values in a string format right you cannot put here a it, it won't be working correct so a will not work or it will not append the value of a to the string but if you want to if you want to get value of any variable then you can get the value in a string with the special operator c here i will use value right value colon i need value of a or will give will be having value of c which is 10 i will be using this operator slash in bracket we can put any variable it will give you the value of c over here that is 10 any problem here you will you will get the value 10 directly fine so let's continue with other operators so we are having compound assignment operator compound assignment operator in compound assignment what we are having we have seen this in c plus is equal to minus is equal to into is equal to divided by is equal to are we having this modulus is equal to yes we are having but it will work on integer data type only it will work with integer data types only what is the meaning of this plus is equal to that means if if you use a plus is equal to b then it will gi give you the answers for a is equal to a plus b, b. correct so this is about compound assignment so inside swift we don't have increment decrement operator from swift 2 they have removed the support for this operator plus plus and minus plus so those operators will not work in swift so see you can see over here a or b plus plus so we are not having this plus plus operator plus plus exists with this partially matching double in out and all these things it's not having a support over here now we are having logical operators uh, before that we, we are having comparison operators yes for pre increment or pre decrement there is no thing like this in, in swift we can use this operator 
compound assignment operator instead plus is equal to if you want to increment a right you can add a statement like this so what is your increment there is nothing we don't have any operator for this right you should use a over there and then increment it on the next statement correct now the next part is comparison operators inside comparison we are having see the sheet 1 sheet 1 sheet 1 yes both sheets yes only Give me five minutes. Okay. Okay. Now let's see the comparison. Inside comparison, we are having less than, greater than. less than equal to greater than equal to equal to and not equal to. with this three uh, with this six operators we are having in when come to compare the two things now here again when you want to compare you can compare two similar data types only you can compare two similar data types only that means you can compare two integers, you can compare two doubles, you can compare two strings as well. Fine, but you need to have same data types. Fine, so A is having different data type, B is having different data type. Is it possible? To have or to get a comparison no it's not it will not work with cannot be applied to the operands integer and double so you can convert it to the integer or type cast it to the integer then it will work fine now Comparison operators always gives you results in true or false format. That is, that is a Boolean value. See here, Boolean, you will get a type as bool. Fine. So you you will get Boolean value over here. That is, that will have two values, true or false. Just two, two values, true or false. After this, we are having logical operators logical operators sorry what are the logical operators we are having and or and not so this works with the two or more conditions you can use those operators inside two or more conditions let's see p is one condition q is another condition and we'll be having and of p and q over here or of p, p and q over here and we'll be having not of p over so p is having zero q is having zero then and of zero zero will give you a zero or of 0, 0, 0 and not of P that means just the negate negation of this P will give you 1 again 0, 1 what you will get 0 and 1 0 0 or 1 1 and 0 not of 0 1 1 and 0 will give you 0 1 or 0 will give you 1 and not of 1 will get 0 
will get 1 over here, 1 over here and 0 over here. Any problem? Fine. So, and or and not operator work like this. Fine. So, this much of operators we are having in Swift. We can use those operators to operate over different data types. Fine. Okay, that's fine. Tomorrow we'll see special variable types in Swift. We are having some special variable types. So we'll work with the special variable types and then we'll go with the control flow. Okay. Okay, bye.